Hi, my name is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to sh show up and hide certain buttons based on somebody's group in Active Directory. So stay tuned. One of the common questions we get asked here as we build apps is, I want to have a single app but have certain admin functions only available if somebody's in a certain group inside of Active Directory or inside of Office 365 for that matter. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, this is part of a series of videos that we're, we're making an app for Forgotten Parks. You can find them at ForgottenParks.org. This organization uh, goes and tries to restore and save parks, uh, and they're actually controlling the parks uh, for, for a number, number of other organizations uh, inside the, the Congo DRC. A really cool organization, and uh, we want to go ahead and build an inventory app for them. One of the key pieces they wanted to do in this application was to control uh, who can actually see certain areas of the application. So as you can see in this app, I've got there's a core app built already. Uh, with nothing inside of it. Uh, we are going to have a second screen that we only want to allow somebody to go to if they have certain kind of rights. So let me go ahead and get over there real quick. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and integrate this application into Active Directory. So let's go ahead and do that first. We're going to go ahead and go to uh, go over to the database icon on the left here. Go to connectors, and we will go to see all connectors. I'll then search for Active Directory. Oops, sorry, Azure. And there it is. Now, this connector is not a premium connector, so it can be do uh, done uh, for free, basically, with the, with the freemium connectors uh, that's included in the Office 365 subscription. When I do that, first thing I want to know is where is your account? So I'm going to just do some copying and pasting here to save you guys the trouble of watching me type this long email address. There we go. And then lastly, our password. And now you might get asked one additional question here uh, that you might get asked. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Uh, you might get asked, though, to authorize it inside of Active Directory also. So a little pop-up will come up, pop up, come up from Active Directory, from, from Azure, saying, do you want to authorize Power Apps to be able to see this kind of information? The next thing we want to do is create our group. Now, I went ahead and opened up portal.office.com. Let me go ahead and just go to that. So I start from scratch here for you. Sorry, portal.azure.com. Once I'm in, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the default stuff. I'll go ahead and look for groups up top. There it is. Okay. Now, whether it's an Office 365 group or an Active Directory group inside of Azure, it will show up in this list right here. So I've already created one called Camera Trap Admins. Now, when I create one, you can create them as Office 365 or security groups. It doesn't really matter. It's going to show up beautifully either way. And you can also create the groups from inside the Office 365 portal as well. But once you do that, make sure um, uh, the reason why I'm doing it here is because I'm going to need this ID that you're seeing right here. Now, I've done nothing special inside this group other than just create it already. And I'm going to copy this little GUID out that you see right here because I'm going to use that in a moment. Okay, you notice there's no members right now. And let's go ahead and hop over to our application. And I'm going to go to insert and let's create a button. Okay, and we'll just call this just. Yeah, our admin, our admin screen. Oops. There we go. So our admin functions will be right here. And then I'll also drop a little label in so we can see whether you're an admin or not. So I'll tie this to a variable in a moment here. So I'll say just like admin level. And then I'll put a little, I'll put something right here in a moment here. So just, we'll put our variable in here. So the way we're going to architect this is we're going to go through and actually build a variable saying whether you're an admin or not, we're going to ping that group and come back with a true or false using that Active Directory connector. After that, we'll be able to turn things on and off very, very simply inside our application. Now, to do that, we have to have that Active Directory connector you're seeing on, on, you saw on our left side, which we've already created. So now, we're going to go to our application right now. So I'll go up to here, go to our app, and we're going to do an application on start event. This is, this is so we can do it one time. Now, just note that if somebody were to, um, uh, if you were to add somebody to the application, once the application is up and running, you're going to want to make sure they restart the application. Or if you're in designer mode, we'll just hit this little button right here and say run on start. This is where we're going to kind of warm the application up with a whole bunch of variable stuff. 
So there's a whole bunch of ways of writing this code. We just want to write some if-then code here. And what we're ultimately looking at, uh, looking for here is it, are they in that, that uh, group or not? So let's go ahead and write, uh, I care about if you're in that group or not. So if, and what, what it's going to return when I, when I ping this, this, this connector here, it's going to say, let me go ahead and just do that real quick. So I'll do Azure AD dot, and you'll see this one called check. There we go. Whoop. Check member groups. And it does a whole bunch of other stuff we can do inside of this also. I'm going to use a V2 one just because it's, it's, it's got a few little additional little, little, little things available to it. Uh, I want to pass in the email address of the, of the user. There we go. And then I'm going to pass in a table of, of, of a table here, basically. So uh, to do that, you have to kind of do some brackets, do some double quotes, and then pop in that GUID that we had a little bit earlier. All right. Then I can say dot value. Now by doing this, it's going to return a true false on whether this user is in that group. Okay, and we can kind of see a little piece of that. Now you'll notice it's going to act a little squirrely here. So if I were to go in here and do something like this, we get some weirdness right here. That's why we want to do, put this as, a, as an event like we're doing right now. So we're going to go into our app again, and we're really close right now. But I'm going to go ahead and tie this to a variable here. So we could do something like, um, uh, let's actually do, hey, if this is empty, so it's going to return either a true or, an, sorry, it's going to return a, a, a yes or a blank, basically, if it's not in that group. So if it's not empty, so if this is not empty, uh, then let's go ahead and set the variable. Set, we'll set a, a variable called var admin and we'll make it equal to true. Uh, sorry, the way around there. Go and so if it's not empty, then we'll do that. Otherwise, let's go ahead and make var admin equal to false. Again, there's a whole bunch of ways of writing this code. I, I just we're sort of starting now the first first screen of this application. I just want to show you how to kind of write the if then statement in a more explicit way. But we also could have really simplified this by taking out since it's a, it's a boolean answer. We could have just done the is empty and, and made it really simple like that also. So let's go ahead and run this. Now, after we do that, we can go to View and Variables, and we can see that this variable is set to false right now because I currently am not an admin. So again, I'll just go over here, and I'm going to prefix that in uh, var admin. There we go. And then additionally, on this admin functions, we're going to go ahead and set that variable uh, to be equal to the visibility flag. So right here under Visible, if you're an admin, you can see it, otherwise you can't. So I'll just do var admin, and that will now disappear. All right, so cool. So right now, all of our functions have disappeared because you're not in that group. So let's go ahead and add me to the group now and see what the behavior happens after we do that. So I'll go back to my camera trap admins. I'll go to my members. Again, you can do this a number of ways. I'm doing this inside of uh, Azure here. I'm going to make anybody that's part of, oh, where did my user go? My, my ad members, there we go. And I've got one called Power. There it is, Power Apps. That's my user. Go ahead and select that. Now it's part of the group. Now you'll notice when I do that, there's a little bit of a lag. So the minute I do that, I can refresh this on start. And you'll notice it still says false. It takes a few seconds to kind of propagate out there and allow, allow things to work. So I'll run it again. And usually within a few seconds, about 30 seconds or so, uh, it replicates out there and it's now ready to go. So this is a way, uh, there's two ways of kind of building this kind of security, right? We, I've done apps in the past where I have a table that says, are you an admin? Are, can you see this? Can you see this? And so on and so on and so on. A whole bunch of like kind of true falses or, or are you part of a certain group or whatnot. By doing it this way, whenever somebody were to remove that rights, it immediately replicates across the entire environment. So it's better from a governance side to do it this way because now your, your office administrator or your Active Directory administrator can do it this way instead. It takes that control out of the, the, you know, the DBA's hand and more into the IT administrator's hand at that point. All right, so in this video, this first video, we, can show, we kind of showed you how to kind of lay the groundwork for uh, how you want to uh, show or hide certain functions based on their Active Directory rights. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This will be part of a bigger series on actually making this, this application from scratch. But one of our first screens we had to do was actually maintaining these drop-down boxes 
So we had to hide that first uh, to make sure the wrong users can't maintain those drop down boxes. All right, thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to us. We also have some great training around Power, around power Apps and Power Platform as a whole. You can find that at uh, pragmaticworks.com or we'd love to build your app for, uh, for you. You can email me at bnight at pragmaticworks or go to pragmaticworks.com to have us build your app for you. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.